In this video, I'm gonna show you how to burn a CD in Reaper. Now, if you're mixing down a song and you just wanna burn that one song to a CD, we could do that fairly easily. But in this video, I wanna show you how to do it with multiple songs, where I've already bounced or rendered each final mix separately and I want to import them into Reaper. But I should mention, when you render those mixes, go to File, and Render. You want to make sure you use the sample rate 44.1, as that's the sample rate that CDs use. And we choose a file, whether it be a WAV or AAF, use the bit depth 16, as that's the bit depth that CDs use. Let's start off with a new project. As I said before, I already rendered a bunch of songs I want to burn to a CD. And if I go to my hard drive, we can see them right here. So I'm going to start off by selecting all of them and just drag them in to Reaper. Just drag them right here and drop them. And the Reaper asks if we want to put them on separate tracks or a single track. If we're not going to process them, we just want to put them on a CD, we could choose single track, which is going to look like this with each song one after another. Then we want to create markers, which are going to separate each mix into a separate song on that CD. And the easiest way to do that is to put our cursor at the beginning, type W, then hit Shift M to create a marker we can name. And just name it based on the song titles. Then we'll go to the second song and select it, hold down Shift and double click it, and that puts the cursor at the beginning of the second song. And just do that for each song for the CD. Just select it, hold on Shift and double click it, Shift M, and give it a name. But I want to do this a bit differently. Let's pretend we want to process each song, maybe master them, adjust the volume of each, and that's easier to do on separate tracks. So let's undo all this. And instead, let's drag in our mixes, drag and drop them, and choose the option separate tracks. And that's going to put them all on separate tracks. Then I'm going to turn on snapping so you can put the songs back to back. Grab this one, it'll snap right to the end of this song, and do the same with each. And then just create markers the same way. Hit W to go to the beginning, Shift M and create a marker for each. And now we have one marker per song. And like I said, we can now treat each song separately, putting effects, adjusting their volume, or even making edits to each song. And we're done, we're ready to burn our CD. So we'll go up here to the File menu and choose Render. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut on PC, it's all Control R, and on Mac, it's Option Command R. Choose it, and that opens up the render window. We'll choose a master mix, the entire project, where we want to store the temporary file, and again, we want to choose a sample rate 44.1. And stereo, and we'll go down here to the format, and instead of choosing WAVE or AF, we're going to choose Audio CD Image. Choose that, and we can choose a space between each song. If we want to do two seconds, we'll make it 2,000 milliseconds. But I want three seconds, so I'm going to make it 3,000, which will give me three seconds between each song. And we could also add extra lead-in silence for the entire disc. Then we'll choose on the track mode, Markers to find new tracks, which is why we set up the markers before. But you could do it with regions if you prefer, or like I showed you in the beginning, if you just want to burn your one final mix, you could do it right here. Just choose one track. But we're going to choose Markers to find new tracks. So new tracks on our CD will be based on the markers we created. Then we'll choose to burn the CD after creating a CD image. Now over here, we could choose how our markers behave. If you already have markers in your project and you just wanted to find markers for the CD tracks, we could choose this option 
and put a hashtag at the beginning of every marker we want to be a new track on the CD, and it'll ignore the other ones. But we don't need that. So now we can just hit render one file to render the file we're going to use to burn our CD. But before we do that, I'd recommend performing a dry run. This way we could see if we have any clipping in our project, as we don't want to burn our CD with clipping and we can't undo it later. So as long as this looks pretty good, we could render our file and burn our CD. And we can see up here, it's rendering one big file that Reaper's going to use to create our CD. Then it opens up this burn audio CD image dialog. We'll choose native CD burning and make sure our drive shows up over here. But we can see all the track names as metadata that can be burned to the CD, along with the duration of each track. We could also choose to eject the CD when done and delete the CD image when we close this window. If you're not going to burn CDs again, we could delete the file that Reaper creates. And then simply hit burn CD to burn our file or all these songs to a CD. So that's pretty much it. That's how to burn a CD in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.